<laughs> it's all been about this solar system, but just before arriving at Gax, we had another little issue with the Defender. I broke it. Have we explained how I broke it? I think we have. Hello and welcome to Grizzly and Bear Overland. I'm Steph and this is Lee. We are currently in Hokkaido, north of Japan, at our friend Gax workshop. We are doing some maintenance on our four-wheel camper and on our Land Rover Defender. In the previous episode, we've upgraded our solar system with an extra two solar panels and two lithium batteries. This week, let's talk about the car. We will also share some highlights of our time spent with GAC, which involves some delicious Japanese food. Please sit back, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. GAC's been a busy man since we've been away. He's built a sandblasting room, full exhaust system, he switches that fan on and over on that side you've got the air intake which is linked to it and that flicks open. Making the most of our new electrical system, check it out, it's super hot inside the camper right now, Steffi finishing up the video, the ventilator, is that what we call it in French? <laughs> Crashed into a pole. That's not as bent as what I thought it was. Too bad. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, I reversed into a pole the other day. <laughs> I was a little bit tired. No excuses. I made a mistake and I broke the hinge. Luckily, didn't smash the camper because obviously you may have noticed that that tailgate flips down and that's what we step up on to get into Grizzly. Only broke the hinge, the tailgate's fine. Replace that hinge. Obviously, this part couldn't be welded back together and it was quite hard to find on the internet. But luckily, Gag found it on Paddock. この道、ま、50、え、な、50、2年ぐらいやってますので頑張ってます。ちょっと、これこれお醤油 <笑> The surface rust came very, very quickly. Like in a month. Just the humidity in the air and stick rust. During the wet season in Japan, the rust has spread a lot in many different places. And as you may already know, Gak really hates the corrosion. So he decided to change some of our bolts. Very special coating only you get done in Japan. 12.9 tensile strength is coating called new rust part black. If you want to know more about this special coating, you can check it out on the Nine Connection Instagram. This is not even ceramic powder. Yeah. They don't even tell because it's your kind of very special. You like. It's secret. It's secret. Very really secret. I asked them your kind of touch up paint for the boat. But like they didn't even provide. And I was wondering like what socket I use when I install these bolts. And uh, the guy has a really crazy website. He compared all the sockets available in the market. Either KTC or Nepros is the best. So, so I get the Nepros. Yeah. Same as the ratchet. Oh my god, Nepros. <laughs> <laughs> Nepros. High end line for KTC, Kyotru's company. You find their kind of um, rubber, unstripped O rings on the Nepro socket. 
Many people believe that you know, like, just in hexagonal sockets are better, but it's actually not. Like, I got specific data if you <laughs> don't understand. Yeah, 12, okay. 12 points, the best, not to damage. The oh. boat is really good quality. Yeah, if you get us, <laughs> just kill me. Points. Today we've got a very special invitation. We're headed to a construction site. Hello. Mr. Yokoyama is here, general manager. Very nice to meet you. Arigato. You can adjust. Oh, looking good, Frenchy. <laughs> Welcome to Obiro Tower. About 150 apartments are getting built and distributed over 19 floors. Wow. Tallest building in this in the eastern half of yeah, yeah. Hokkaido, I guess. Mm. In Sapporo, they have some more. Maybe something yeah, like yeah. 20 to 30. But okay. Pants called Nika Pokka, the wide flared pants for scaffold builder. If you are really you know, standing on the edge, the feeling of the cross tells you that you are you bury in the edge of danger. Nika Pokka. After the visit, it was lunchtime. We went to a very popular restaurant. We serve one dish and one dish only. Pancho meaning restaurant in Chinese. <laughs> Long time ago. I don't think uh, they use the same word, but yeah, yeah that's all. Hey, what is this? 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 <laughs> I've been to about two or three auto parts stores today trying to find some 19 millimeter or three quarter inch ID diesel hose. We wanted some small stuff too for the diesel heater, just couldn't find it. We had a pretty good diesel leak coming from the overflow line. Dodgy uh, <laughs> repair work. It's not, it doesn't hold pressure, it's not a pump line, it's just the overflow. Finally got up under, pulled the section out, and it was completely perished and damaged. But yeah, to find this hose was super hard. So, after heaps of Googling, Googled hydraulic supply shop, and I found these guys, and these guys do like high pressure hydraulic lines for machinery. Came here, and they had everything we needed. Think outside the box sometimes. Never give up, just keep going around and around. We needed it, we needed it desperately. I knew I'd be able to find it somewhere. We got some super high pressure fuel line. It's actually a hydraulic hose, so this stuff should last a long time. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Today we are back to the city, and we will be trying some oyaki, or Japanese buns. They are filled with cheese or red bean paste. back in Gak's workshop. Check out the setup. You all know Gak by now from our videos. You'll be super excited to know that he's got a plan to document the entire rebuild of this stunning 110. So 
keep an eye out. I'm not going to give away too much, brother, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it'll be it'll be epic. All right, installation day. Mr. Gak is at work. I am going to install this hinge. Don't worry, Gak. I'll be extra careful. Ceramic coated uh, hardware and fixings there, but I'll I'll be special. I'll be very very careful, Gak. I promise. Are oh, you making it nice and neat, Frenchie? Just the way Gak would like it. Amazing things, Pop Rivets. Good job. But you're a pro on one of those things, aren't you? You remember using one in Newman's garage all those years ago? The scratch is still there. Oh, maybe. <laughs> you can never have enough Pop Rivets holding a Land Rover Defender together. Steffi's removing our temporary solution. Merci. Gax special corrosion proof paint. These are probably the only two bolts along with any other bolt that Gax replaced on this Defender that will, will not rust. Did we mention about the paint? Ah, no, not on. That was Gak filming me last night. So yeah, I did talk about it, but not to this camera. We have installed this brand new rear tailgate hinge for our Defender 130, which is an exact color-coded match for Keswick Green. Gak used the color codes. I'm still not entirely sure how he did it. It's pretty awesome. He went to his local painter here in Oberhero, gave the guy the color codes, and together they managed to produce Keswick Green. He didn't order this paint, he created it here in Oberhero. This guy's just, uh, every time it's something else. It's a cast piece, so it couldn't be welded. We had to order a new one anyway. We've got it, and it comes just in a um, base color, which is the silver. I probably would have just bought some black paint, but Gaki, he wasn't having that because he knew that I probably would have ended up with one black one and one Keswick green one, so the perfectionist himself, uh, he wouldn't have been able to handle that. We told him not to worry about it, but there it is, the brand new hinge in absolutely perfect Keswick green. Incredible. Next week, we are super excited to finally be back to nature. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.